Bravo. Hello, everybody, and welcome to GrafanaCon 2018. I'm Carl Levine from NS1, and today we're going to talk a little bit about DNS. All right, so why are we at a monitoring and GrafanaCon here talking about core internet infrastructure? Well, fact is, you know, we have this, you know, offering here of managed DNS, some on-premise DNS uh, for those people that want redundancy, and of course, real user monitoring. Uh, all these things are part and parcel of the NS1 platform, and you know, we're proud to offer those uh, here uh, you know, on the market today. You know, any of these initiatives that you may be working on, be it multi-CDN optimization, data center migration, digital transformation, load balancing, better customer experience through faster uh, time to first byte, implementing a secondary DNS solution or disaster recovery, we've got you covered. Now, having visibility into this very critical layer of the internet uh, you know, should definitely be part of your overall you know, site reliability plan and everything you know, of that nature. So where we're very fortunate to live in this age where we have more data than we know what to do with, you know, we find this is a double-edged sword, right? I mean, discerning what data is important to provide context around a given piece of infrastructure or even a complete layer of the stack remains one of the key challenges. Now, specifically focusing on the DNS, having visibility into the state of this essential layer of the stack is critical to, uh, to the optimization and tuning of how queries are answered. So, you know, thinking about this a different way, you know, where, where are your users? Like, that's, that's pretty critical when you're going to figure out where you want to, you know, maybe set up a cloud instance or, you know, stand up a new data center. Targeting anomalies in traffic patterns. Well, you know, usually the first sign of a DDoS attack is, you know, elevated queries against a certain record. So you want to be able to have that information. And, of course, fine-tuning any advanced logic that you might have set up, be it load balancing or uh, the filter chain, which I'll get into here in a minute. So, really, the reason I'm here today just to tell you all, use all the data you can, and we're, helped to, we're here to help you make sense of it all. So to that end, it begins with APIs and integrations. Uh, we built our platform on an API first. Uh, you know, most other DNS players in the market you know, that are using you know, Bind or other outdated solutions at, at its core are, you know, the API is a bolt-on, or you know, it doesn't have the full functionality. With us, you have the whole thing. Uh, and of course, we have a native integration with Grafana. I mean, they're our neighbors after all. Uh, we're good friends. So uh, it was a natural thing to kind of jump in and do this with them. So what we can do with Grafana is actually you know, pipe in data from the DNS so that you have real-time information about the number of queries that you're experiencing and you know, other sort of uh, monitoring metrics from our own built-in monitors. So, you know, just the sort of skinny on what we're doing there. Uh, we support queries per second broken down by the zone, as well as uh, monitoring on port 53, 80 for HTTP, uh, ICMP monitoring, as well as TCP. And then for any zones that you've got multiple uh, regions set up, we can initiate the rapid recheck so that you can avoid false positives. So having all this information as part of your overall site reliability context then allows you to make smarter decisions about you know, how to react to a certain situation and you know, never have to worry you know, or wonder, is it the DNS? So one last little plug I got here about a minute to go. So as much as we've talked about the data coming out of the DNS being important, the ability to actually ingest data from across your stack is also key. And this is part and parcel of the NS1 platform. Uh, so data from a physical or virtual machine uh, about its performance, its connectivity, availability can all be correlated to metadata attached to DNS records. Criteria such as high or low watermarks, up or down metrics, and more can all be used to arbitrate the endpoint choice on a query by query basis. So, you know, if you guys have any questions about this, um, you know, be sure to flag down myself. Uh, I've got uh, James and Harry uh, from our Brighton UK office here with us as well. Uh, you can spot James about a mile away. He's about a foot taller than all of y'all. So, uh, and don't miss the after party tonight. Uh, we're uh, sponsoring and always happy to talk shop there too. So with that, thank you. Uh, and as I said, I'm Carl from NS1, at Stuff Carl Says on Twitter. Uh, feel free to uh, ping me with all of your DNS queries, but not the ones that we actually handle on the platform. Thank you.